Alright, so we are starting off with the P. Louise base and I'm applying that to both of my eyelids and then I'm going to take a beauty sponge and then blend that out. Next up, I'm taking the Ace Beauty Paradise Fallen Palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Eve. And then with a Carity E30 brush, I'm just going to pop that into my crease for my first transition. I'm not going to blend all crazy or anything. I'm just packing on the shade first. I'm going into the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. I'm taking that pink shade with a and more crease brush. And I'm just going to apply that to my crease for my second transition. And I'm just going to like pack that on there. And then I'm taking the orange shade with a Carity E31 and apply that right on top. And just make sure everything's all blended. Yes, I go back and forth between colors and brushes just to make sure everything's just nice and seamless. I'm now taking my P. Louise base and I'm just going to cut my crease. Yes, I'm doing that trick where I look up and it creates that guideline for you. And I'm taking the Makeup Shack T72 brush and I'm just going to, you know, start cutting out my crease and shaping it. I'm like stamping on the product so it goes on nice and pigmented. I didn't really show this part on camera, but I did add a little bit more product to my lid just to, you know, finish off my cut crease because I found that, you know, I was losing my product. So I had to add a little bit more to finish off my cut crease. Sometimes that happens. And I decided to go with a semi-circle cut crease because, you know, I haven't done that in a while. So I was like, you know what, let me just do this. <laughs> I'm going back into the Zulu palette with a B Bella Cosmetics flat brush and I'm just going to take that yellow shade and pack that into my inner corner. Well, not really my inner corner, but my inner lid if that makes sense. And I'm just going to keep building on the shade until I get the pigmentation I desire. So I went in with the shade about like five times maybe. I'm going back into that orange shade and I'm just going to apply that right next to the yellow with the same brush that I took before with the yellow shade. And I'm just going to, you know, try to blend the two together to try and create that gradient effect. Next up, I'm going in with the pink shade and I'm taking a different flat brush. This one I got off of Amazon and I'm pretty much just doing the exact same thing, packing on the shade right next to the orange and making sure things are nice and blended out to create that gradient ombre effect. I'm taking the shade Dusk from the palette and I am going to apply that to the outer part of my lid. I'm going to try my best to, you know, blend that out to, you know, diminish that harsh line. Then I'm taking the Tardius Tarte Gel Liner. I don't know why I had a southern accent for a second right there, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm being a weirdo. But I'm taking a small liner brush and I'm going to do a smoked outliner. So I gradually like start off thin and then I work my way up and get thicker at the end, as you can see here. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, blend that out as best as I can. As you can see, I'm like going over it multiple times so there's no like crooked lines. I'm just trying to make sure everything's nice and perfect. I'm taking the shade Blackout from the Ace Beauty palette with this e.l.f. shader brush and I'm just going to, you know, mattify the smoked out liner and make sure everything's nice and matte like I just said. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm pretty much just packing on the black shadow just so like everything gets darker and makes it look more mattified. And then I'm going to like smoke it out so that's not so harsh. I'm taking the shade E from the palette and I'm taking this Makeup Shack brush, this is the T65, and I'm going to pop that to my lower lash line. I'm going back into the pink shade from the Zulu palette and I'm going to apply that right next to the purple and just make sure everything is nice and blended. And lastly, I'm doing the same exact thing with the orange shade. I'm going in with this black liner from ColourPop and I'm just going to line my waterline just to make the look more dramatic and deeper. 
For lashes, I'm taking the Angel Wings Halo Collection lashes in the bottom pair right there. This is the Style Royalty, and I'm just popping that to both of my eyes. This just completes the look all together, like, OMG, this makes the look so beautiful, I swear. Lashes, I don't know what I would do without lashes, for real. For lips, I'm taking the Beauty Vault Lip Liner. This is in the shade Earthy Emma. And I'm just going to line my lips with that and just, you know, I don't know, like, boldify. That's not even a word, but make my lips bold to prepare myself for the nude lipstick because your girl just does not look right with straight nude lipstick. She has to have, like, a lip liner, like... For the lipstick, I'm taking the NYX Lingerie Lipstick in the shade Corset, and I'm just going to apply that to the middle of my lips and, you know, smack them together, try to get them blended. This is kind of going to be an ombre lip, and at first I didn't like how it was looking, so I applied more lip liner just to, you know, deepen up the sides of my lips so it didn't look so, like, crazy. <laughs> And there you have it guys, this is the completed look and this is actually the completed video as well. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, I am trying to get 1700 subscribers. Your girl is trying to reach goals here, like I am trying to reach goals all 2019. So please support your girl, subscribe to my channel, also turn on your post notifications and make sure you are getting notified every single time that I upload. Leave a comment down below what you thought, did you like it, did you hate it, I don't care. Also leave some suggestions for some future videos and I'll be sure to make Make some videos regarding those suggestions and that is all i have to say look forward to those bloopers coming up because they are funny and yeah that's all i have to say have a blessed day and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye guys ariana grande is such a mood like Chicken boots. Oh, my eyes are tearing up. Why? We need some liner. Liner. Her, her, her. <laughs>